one. I'm joined right now by San Francisco State after the championship game of the 2024 CCA Baseball Tournament. San Francisco State forced the winner-take-all game, and they, but they did fall to Monterey Bay in the winner-take-all game 12-9. to nine. I'm joined right now by head coach Tony Schifano. On his right, Nick Allred, and on his left, Theo Hopkins. Coach, would you take us through your thoughts on today's game? Um, games. Yeah, games. Well, game one was a uh, first hard-fought day, a game of the day. Uh, I think we were down 4 nothing. Seems like forever ago, but uh, we fought back, and uh, Nick got the game-winning hit uh, to put us up five four. And uh, and then uh, game two, you know, we we couldn't get the bats going early. Uh, Flores pitched really well. Um, I think you know it was four nothing going into the seventh, which is um, you know and to see what the score ended up being is kind of crazy. But uh, um, the battle of bullpens at the end, and you know they just they fought. Artojo was a tough guy to get out. Um, all weekend for anybody. I mean, you can ask the other teams as well. And you know, they, they earned what they what they got at the end there. And uh, you know, I was really proud of the guys. They we always talk about fighting to the end and getting the tie and run to the plate in the ninth. And we we did we did that. We had a couple chances there, and we were about to turn the lineup over and give Maria and French a shot. Uh, but their third baseman made a terrific play at the game. Let me talk to you. Let me talk about that fight. I, actually, I'm going to go to game one first yeah. of all. Theo, let me talk to you. First of all, you opened this weekend up and you got the Elite 13 Award. You are, are named the top academic person here at the conference. Just tell me what that means in relation to everything else. I mean, it's it's been a lot of hard work in the classroom, uh, fighting practices and schedules, traveling just to get that work done. And I'm, I'm really proud of that accomplishment and really proud of the work that I put on and that it's been recognized. Was it pretty cool to be recognized by your teammates? It was. It was. I had no idea. It was like a big surprise. Awesome. Well then, also on that same note, you come out, get the call, you know, an elimination game when you guys need to take two, and you pitch three really good innings on there. Can you just tell me about that opportunity and really delivering for your team? Yeah, I mean, Coach Willie said it was going to be all hands on deck for these last few games, and that's how it's been all week, and I'm just so proud of all my teammates. Everyone stepped up in a big role at some point during the weekend, during the whole week, and uh, I was just ready when, when that opportunity came for me, and I, I made the most of it, and I'm, I'm really proud of that. All right, Nick, talk to me about the comeback in that game one. You guys didn't have much going, but what, what happens? What snaps in for you guys to get that comeback started? You know, Coach White always pulls us together in the dugout, and uh, he really gets us going. Um, he always tells us, you know, you just got to get the bats going. We got one of the deepest lineups in the conference, if not the deepest lineup in the conference. And at any moment, we can put up runs. And that's just kind of what sparked us. You know, everyone, we, we say, just get three quality at bats. That's all we want, three quality events, and we were able to do that, get some guys on base and come through. Well, I want to talk a little bit about game two, but I actually want to talk about another thing, and I'm going to talk to the pitcher about this one. Coach, you can chime in on this one if you like. Did you talk about the left side defense of your infield this weekend? I thought that was a standout. Call. It was it was phenomenal, and it saved a lot of games for us and a lot of plays and a lot of runs, and I don't think we'd be in this position if it weren't for Kyle, Dan, all those guys making those plays and getting us out of tight spots or just – preventing those tight spots from happening. Nick, talk about the guy that hits number four in your lineup right now, Justin Johnson, and how, just talk to me about him. <laughs> Justin, he, he's an awesome kid. He deserves everything that he's gotten. Um, you, you don't want to pitch him. Nobody <laughs> wants to pitch him. He's always ready to do damage, and he'll, he'll take you deep anytime he wants to, it seems like. So we love Justin. Um, yeah, he's, gonna, he's just a beast. Let me talk to you about your lineup. And it felt like you guys had so many people get uh, the game time or go ahead hit this weekend. Can you tell me that it was a spread out and just talking about everybody getting their moment? Like I said, our lineup is so deep. Um, everybody came through at certain moments, if not multiple moments this weekend. Um, obviously, Dan and French at the top of the lineup getting things started. Uh, Santos and Jetta is always, always getting, always sending them in, you know, scoring, scoring the runs, getting RBIs. Um, I mean, bottom of the lineup came through, we were getting on base, and uh, it's all we could ask for. I mean, everybody just getting on base, bring guys in when they need to, coming up big. This one is for both the guys, you guys jump in what you want, the coach is going to answer this one after that. Just how proud are you guys of this run, and the fact you guys did this for San Francisco State Baseball to help you guys you know, grow as a program? I mean, I've been in this program for five years, and 
the grittiness and the tightness of this team is is second to none. It's it's unbelievable, and uh, I'm just so unbelievably proud of all the boys and how hard they've worked, and that we have a chance to continue. I'm proud that we can get to continue playing in regionals next week. Definitely didn't mean to make it seem like the season was done. I want to make sure on that one, but just incredible. You guys have never been to a conference championship game before. You guys fought it and left us forced that other ones. So you guys kind of had that. Opportunity coach, tell me about the growth of this program, and I'm sure you're proud of this moment for you guys. Yeah, very proud. I, you know, I always knew, felt we had the talent to be here. Uh, it was just a matter of, uh, you know, believing it. When, when it doesn't happen for so long, um, you know, it, it kind of, you know, it perpetrates through the program, and where people don't think you can do it. And uh, that's something that, like Coach White talks about quite a bit in the dugout, just staying positive, and you know, Coach Wilson with the pitchers and. Um, but Theo, what Theo said about family and, and how much they care about each other, and you know they're hurting right now. You know we, we're so close. I mean it was as close as they can get, pretty much, and yeah, without getting it. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I watched last year's tournament. I watched every pitch live, and um, you know I was like I, I kept I remember exactly a year ago thinking, wow, what a what a feeling that would be to be in that situation. And here we were, the opportunity to win a win a CCA championship. Um, there are a lot of people proud. I, my phone is blown up all weekend. <laughs> With alums and administrators and, and student athletes and and coaches and it's been awesome. These guys have no idea how how many people support them and love them and uh, I, I couldn't be proud. This is my final question um, before I tell you good luck to go to regionals next week. But I think some of the theme just overall for this weekend and any game wasn't just yours. How hard is to get those final six out in a college oh. baseball game? It's yeah. something. It's something. Um, it's a credit to Monterey, though, and Pomona yesterday, and, you know, Pappas hitting a home run in the ninth inning to force the next extra inning. It's just, it's a credit to these young men how hard they work. And we always say that, that old adage, where hard work pays off. It, it truly does. You know, it's just too bad, you know, sometimes it was, you got to be on the wrong side of it. And I want to make sure that I make a point. You guys were as hard as anybody to get those final six outs on. That was not <laughs> to give anything else. Though you guys were down to that last strike multiple mm -hmm. times, push the game. I guess that would have been Thursday night, like yeah. had an incredible run. So that's not a knocking at you. It's just cannot believe how hard it is to get the final out. It's mm -hmm. awesome. That's why it's the best, uh, best Division II conference in the country. Mm -hmm. We'll leave it on that. Thank you very much, and good luck next week at Regionals. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.